In this video, I'm going to show you the complete monetization strategy I use to win the school games and meet Alex Hermosi and generate $47,000 in 30 days selling an automation and AI product. And I think what's worth pointing out is how profitable these types of offers and products can be with an 89% profit margin and how I was able to launch a paid community to 60K per month in about two and a half months. And I'm currently 12 on the all time leaderboard for the school games. Now, first, let's go over the roadmap of what we're going to cover today. First, I'm going to do a high level overview of my simple strategy. And then I'm going to break that strategy down into tangible phases. And then I'm going to show you the 99% method that I use for planning my week. Now, the first mistake that I see most people making right now is just trying to do too much and getting overwhelmed as they try to build out their AI automation business. They're really filling their brain with all the strategy and tactics online and burning out. So this is the same simple strategy that I use to build my business. And I'm going to go through it here with you today. And let's go ahead and talk about this inner circle here first. This is where I spend the majority of my time and I'll break that down later in the video. But the only things that we really need to launch a successful AI automation business is content, a funnel, and a product. And if you're starting from scratch, I usually like people to start here at content because this is usually the hardest thing to get going. I often see people spend countless hours on their funnels and revamping those and redoing those over and over again. So once you're actually creating content on a consistent basis, we can go ahead and create that funnel. And then once you have that funnel, we can go ahead and start developing that product. But this is the order that I generally recommend people get started. And at each of these stages, I also encourage them to keep it as simple as possible. Because one of the biggest factors to success is speed and building momentum in this process. And so especially if you have limited time and you don't have people to help you, it's important to reduce the scope of everything that you are trying to do. Usually what I see, and I do this myself, is people just give themselves too much to do. They try to make their content creation process too complex, the funnel's too complex, and the product is too complex or they're just trying to do too much. So try to ruthlessly eliminate all of the different things that you are trying to do. And I'll show you a bit about how to do this in this video today. So to achieve speed, we need to reduce the scope of what we are trying to do. And then to achieve real momentum, we need to also incrementally improve on everything that we are doing here. So now let's go ahead and break down these different stages of development. And like I mentioned before, if you're starting from scratch, I usually like to start at the content creation phase and people really overcomplicate this process. So I wanna break it down into something that's very easy and manageable because people tend to want some perfect system to create content. They want some way to generate ideas. They want some way to manage the process. They want people to help them, but there's a very simple process we can go through to create good content, especially in the AI automation space, because this type of content is so flashy that it really does all of the work for us. And as we create different projects that we build, we can turn those into products. So all you have to do each week is pick a single AI automation project that interests you or a potential client. Then what you do is you build 80% of that project so that you can re-record it building yourself. Make sure you've identified all the things you don't know so that you don't stumble through those while you're recording it. I say 80% because you don't need to perfect it. That last 20% you can just figure out while you're recording it. And then just go ahead and record yourself building that project. And I personally use Ecamm Live and I'll tell you why in a moment. And then you're also going to post seven videos a week, one per day to TikTok. But you really only need these two platforms to generate all the income you need. Now to make up these seven videos, you're going to make clips from the original YouTube video that you recorded. Believe it or not, on TikTok, you can publish up to 30 minute videos and they work really well. I'll show you in a moment. So you're going to make clips from that YouTube video. And if the YouTube video is longer than 30 minutes, then you can break that single video up into two TikToks. And then what you'll do is you'll make up the rest of these seven videos with small ideas from the main project that you recorded. So let me go ahead and break down how I actually go about recording this on Ecamm Live. I record my long form YouTube video and I use Ecamm Live because it allows me to record the screen and then I can also record myself with a front facing camera and then I can also record myself from a side facing camera. So then my editor is able to create that YouTube video just like you're seeing right now. And it looks similar to a Loom video where you can see everything on my screen and you can see me off to the side in this little view here. So we're able to publish that long form video, but then when we're done, we're able to reposition everything for TikTok. So now we can take the screen share portion of the video and that can be the top portion of our TikTok. Now, of course, some amount of the 
long form horizontal video is going to be cut off. And so I make sure that when I record, I don't do anything on the side right here. And then we also use the side angle camera to have my face on the video as well. And then we will create one video per 30 minutes. So if we have a 60 minute video, this will produce two different clips that we can use. If it's less than 30 minutes, then we only produce one clip. And so since we're supposed to post seven videos every single week, whatever is left over, I will record individual videos. Some number of those videos, it just really depends on how many I was able to create from the main video. And these will just be subtopics from the main video where I'll explain just one small part of what I demoed in the main video. So I keep things really simple by just picking a project that interests me and then I actually build it. And then I record myself rebuilding that project with Ecamm Live to produce the one main video for YouTube and the seven videos that I need for TikTok each week. And this simple process allows me to generate a ton of traffic from my YouTube channel. I'm growing faster than I ever have before and the channel itself is helping generate monthly revenue. And like I said, these 30 minute TikToks are blowing up. Everyone thinks of TikTok as the sub one minute video, but these 30 minute videos are performing extremely well on my TikTok channel. And so even though I publish content across all the different platforms, it's YouTube and TikTok for me, that are performing the best. So now when it comes to building out the funnel, I use a community funnel. I use a simple strategy like I just showed you where I have video that helps me generate traffic that goes to a free community. And within that community, people can see my content. They can get access to free automation projects and they can also book a call to buy high ticket services. Now I do have a paid community as well, but you really don't need that to start. You just simply need this very basic funnel strategy. And you don't need an email list as part of your community either because inside your community, when you make a post on a platform like school, you can simply have that post emailed to all the members. And I find that this is the best strategy because people are getting something of real value. They're joining a group where you're leading that group and there's also other community members and there's all sorts of free resources inside the community. It's not just another one of those eBooks that nobody actually reads. And as you're building out those video projects on YouTube, Use those same projects with the same tractions, the ones that are getting the most reactions online as freebies inside of your community. So if you can see so far, what I'm trying to do is how can we do as little work as possible and reuse as much of the work we do to stay focused on creating value for our community, our users, so that we can ultimately develop products and sell those as well. So now when it comes to product development, again, just like we turned our video projects into freebies to pull people into our community, we're also gonna turn those best performing projects into products. So I'm currently selling an AI automation product called the Content Engine Database. And this entire product was developed by simply creating TikToks around topics that interest me, around automations that I thought were interesting, and then using the feedback that I got on TikTok to actually generate the product. So our content creation is going to be a place where we can experiment, build out projects. The best content will go into our community to draw in new members, and then we'll look for that single best idea to turn into our product. Now, finally, let me talk to you a bit about the 99% method that I use for planning. Now, this is extremely important because where your time goes is what is going to grow. So I spend 99% of my time on my products and content. I literally eliminate everything other than that off my to-do list or I only spend about 1% of my time to funnels or anything else. Whereas what I see a lot of time is 99% of a lot of people's time goes into their funnel. They're always revamping it, changing it, but they really have nothing to sell or any way to get traffic to that funnel. So I'm pretty ruthless with myself on this schedule here. And I think this is really the secret to success. And I don't use any complicated to-do list. I just personally use a simple notebook. I don't use a computer. I like to keep things outside of the computer because as soon as I open up my computer to figure out what I need to do next, I get distracted and now I'm on YouTube or I'm on TikTok scrolling through something or I'm reorganizing something that I don't need to do. And I'm pretty strict with this as well. I do one important task per day with a window of focus so that I'm only working on that one thing and I spend as much time on it as I can to do a really, really good job. If you're producing really good products and really good content, it's going to be hard for you not to build a great business. And so instead of wasting time on my funnel or on social media, I'm always producing value with inside the company. And again, I'm just ruthless in terms of reducing the scope of the projects and tasks. I'm always simplifying them, making them easier. I'll look through my to-do list and I will just start to erase things. I'll delete them 
and I won't even think about them, especially if it has nothing to do with my products or my content. So if you're interested in building out your own AI products and services, make sure to jump into the no code architects. There's a make.com workshop and a bunch of pre-built videos and templates that you can use in your automations. But beyond that, in September, I'm going to be launching a business strategy course focused on building an AI automation product. And it's gonna be specifically focused on taking things off of your to-do list rather than giving you more things to do. And it's gonna help you focus on some of those things that you might be putting off so that you can actually build your business. And I'm also developing this unique way of helping you stay accountable to getting your stuff done. Super excited about it. Hope to see you there. Either way, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next one.